This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. Look, when I think about my life and as I've grown up, become a husband and a father, look, I am always learning something new about what makes me tick, uh, strengths and weaknesses, and I have benefited from therapy in my life. There have been lots of times when, look, you go through different phases of life and you need help processing that, uh, figuring out strategies and the way to live your life in a more healthy manner. And uh, whether or not you've been in therapy personally, uh, there are broad benefits that can be found in therapy and in examining uh, this changing uh, life of yours. So uh, if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. You can switch therapists at any time for no charge so you have the right fit. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash ballers today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash ballers. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. A drip, drop, flip, flop, baby, da beep, bop. A woo! Uh, okay. Look, I... <laughs> I didn't know what to expect because... This is the closest to the morning that I think we've asked Mike to scat. And Mike is sure. not known as a morning or afternoon guy. Yeah, I'm right there with yeah. him. I'm yeah, right yeah, yeah. I mean, usually when I wake up, there's about 722 messages from Andrew Holloway and yes. his cups of coffee. And company, and company. Sure. Uh, but Fellow it's, early birds. It is, it is mostly you. <laughs> Uh, with a couple of responses to what you're posting. You you usually have some, some coffee emojis that have flames coming That's out fair. of it that That's are fair. like posted. Do those resonate? Oh yeah. I, I know what's going on in your life when I by the time I wake up and see that you're two hours into We're a in different solid time work zones. Day. Yes, we are. I think your your response to to what Jason was saying that has, you know, brought something up to me that I've I've, I've never really thought about. I don't. Why are we so at ends? Is that that's a phrase? No, right? I don't think. Oh, it's a perfect at, at odds? odds. At odds. At odds ends. I don't know. There's, yeah. there's something. Keep there. our ends out yeah. of it. Turn a phrase. <laughs> right, which we are masters of. Uh, morning people. Yeah. And night people. Mm -hmm. Night owls, I believe, is what they're called. <laughs> yeah. There's no night people. Yeah. It's Thank you. It's Jason. also so, er it's early worms and night owls. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's that's very fair. <laughs> Uh, let's just, let's just all shake hands. Like you think like, we need to get along. Yeah. Cause yeah. you, cause you could tell We're complimentary. You could tell by when, when Jason was talking about it, you, you felt like you had to come into the defense That's true. of mourning people. And it's like, I feel a level of resentment at how much they have. He has to catch up. On. And it, sh it shouldn't be that way because yeah. you know, your body is beautiful. Hard well, oh, gotcha. it's a wonderland <laughs> as, as our, our good friend JM would say. Yeah. Uh, but your body is just wired that way. I have, I mean, I have tried, like tried for years and years yeah, how old, and years How old is years. your oldest? 14? Uh, 13? About to be 14. So that's how many years you've tried. Like I've, I've tried to become a morning person. I still wake up early very frequently. My body never, mm. ever likes it. I was it's just never a, adapted. Uh, never, never, ever. I've talked, I was just talking to my wife about this of, uh, cause she was saying, you know, I want, I want to get more active and work out because I I had gotten in a, a, a workout regimen of doing it in the morning, and it's terrible. It is these people are like just get up yeah. and rise and shake. No, it's awful. Who's the every uh, single time? It's terrible. Who's the actor that's part of the three a.m. club? Oh, Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Yeah, he's always yeah. Like, 
That and, guy, and The Rock. The Rock and him get up super early. Because those guys are like, well, you sleep for three hours. And I'm like, you, they, sir, are a filthy they, liar. Well, they are wired different. I mean, that's the thing. Is like, I, I was reading no, a- Human beings are uh, not wired to survive well, on three to four hours of sleep. Right, but we know they're not human beings. Like, that's, okay. w- that's widely <laughs> accepted. They are lizard people. Um, but I, I was reading Atomic Habits, and one of the things is like, w- what you say about yourself- causes you to believe it so if you say like i'm not a morning person, i believe that yeah that, but that's nonsense because of my, i mean there is some truth to that for sure but i've seen it like i, I started yes. doing the same thing with me like i'm not going to say i'm not a morning person i can get up i can be a morning person it just takes 20 years of practice and then maybe someday i'll be a morning person because i mean it don't work there, it don't work there is a truth to a positive mindset I believe that, but I think that your your There's body self fulfilling prophecies. Sure. If you say like I am, it's yes. like the in, introversion extroversion. I know people are introverts and people yes. are extroverts, but it doesn't do an introvert very much good when they need to go out and do something mm-hmm. to say, "Oh, I'm just this other kind of person." Right. Because then it just it self fulfills. It's like I'm not. That sounds like an extrovert talking. See, I, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Although you, I, you you don't go home after the party. You're like, good lord. Oh, I'd hope I never have to talk to another person for the next five years. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, see what Andy's be, saying. Like people if, can be <laughs> partially not morning people and partially yeah. night owls. Yeah, and, and you and can if still do it. Yeah. Like I can still get up in the morning, but it sucks every time. Right. If it is a negative thing, right? If it's if it's a hardship upon you, right? It doesn't do you a service to constantly remind you. You know, it's like <laughs> I deal with anxiety. Yeah, I just want everybody to know I have anxiety. Well, the more you say that, the less helpful it is to you because now you are really, really confident in your anxiety. Not that you don't deal with anxiety, but maybe don't like wear the shirt that says I have anxiety. My, mm-hmm. back, back to the original point is morning people shouldn't feel like they're under attack from night people. In the same way that night people don't shouldn't feel like they're under attack from morning people. Now these now I'm picturing like we're in Blade and there's daywalkers <laughs> and I don't know what's happening. We just we change shifts. You clunk. The in. vampires are certainly not morning people. Correct. Yeah. Who wins? Okay. And they're the, they're in the a, sexiest of monsters. In a war. Okay, because I I presume <laughs> I presume in about 40 years uh-huh. There will be a war between the night owls and the morning people because despite oh, morning people are toast. See, that's what I'm wondering. Or do they we fight in the darkness? <laughs> We're used to the night and the darkness. Uh-huh. They need that sunrise to really get going. But um, I I also wonder We're if they're coffee dependent people. If their diligence <laughs> and you know early if they attack early, <laughs> I mean that could be a real we, problem. We might, we might still be awake. Oh, that's true. We can wrap around. <laughs> that's right. Okay. You can wrap around. All right. So yeah. my yeah. Wait, gra- if you call the morning the night, will you feel better? Oh, absolutely. The greater point being, we should all be able to get along. But night people are superior. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. That's we- the point of your whole. <laughs> yes. I, okay. I had to work through it, but okay. we got there. So now I need to defend myself again. <laughs> all right. Uh, welcome into the Spitballer, Sandy, Mike, and Jason. With you, we're going to kick it off with a review. Review Asaurus Rex. Uh, this one comes in from Corey Saluti, PSA to Fathers, five stars. This is my first ever Apple podcast review. I felt this necessary. Fathers, husbands, be aware. Not beware, be aware. Andy, Mike, and Jason are so funny. You should be aware of listening to this show when your wife has had a really bad day or when putting your kids to bed, plus so many more family situations. Your desire to take care of your family is no match for the instinctual need to laugh at this hilarious show. You will make your wife's day worse. You will (laughs) wake your child up. Be aware, be responsible, but keep listening. So your wife has a bad day, and if you have the, the AirPods in... You may chuckle too much for your wife's uh, bad look, day. I have a, I have so many suggestions. I have a PSA. For Corey. I have a PSA for Corey. <laughs> Maybe take the AirPods <laughs> out and share this with your wife and children. You'll all have a good time. Yeah, you're keeping it a little bit secret. Yeah, well, and it's like if you get home and you're like, "Oh man, I, we we all can read it." The spouse like, "There's something's uh, something has gone wrong here." You don't look at him like. 
You sure seem grumpy. Plop, AirPods in. Yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, don't be putting your kids to thank bed you while you're the, listening to the podcast. Thank but you yeah, for the review. Hey, but hey, tell your friends about the show. <laughs> Would you rather? All right, Spencer from the website. Would you rather have the voice of Sam Elliott? Okay. Beef brisket. Or Morgan Freeman. Oh. Oh, I didn't I can't oh. I can't do a Morgan. I yeah, I don't think any of oh. us Oh, oh no, <laughs> but let's try it yeah, out. Go Andy. for it. <clears throat> oh, I remember Andy Dufresne. Okay. That's not bad. That is not that's it's not good. But it's it not is good. A, it is like I un, it's I know a lot who, of pressure. I need to work into it. You know how you do an impression? Yeah. You gotta like mm-hmm. well, you get everyone yeah. I, I think impression people like they have that word. Right. That you're like, okay, that's, that's the word. That's the only phrase I ever go to when I try yes. to do a mediocre Morgan You have Freeman. to say I Andy Dufresne. I have to Dufresne. say Andy Dufresne. <laughs> um, Sam Elliott, do you get the mustache? No. Do you, you do- want the mustache? I don't Are want Are you required the- to grow it once you have the voice? I don't think you're required, but should you choose to grow a mustache with that voice, the mustache is now not creepy, but pretty cool. Because there are creepy mustaches, I, for sure. I want the Sam Elliott voice. Without question, I want the Sam. There, there is almost nothing I am more jealous of when I, if I'm watching TV, if I'm watching movies, you know, they've all got great bodies. You know, these are these are uh, celebrities and actors who care for their bodies and their crafts, you yeah. know, unlike me. And so you might be like, oh, I'm so jealous of, uh, you know, the, the the athletic swimmer type body they have. No. What I am truly jealous of. You want the voice. Are the voices of these these certain men who can no longer be a bad actor. Genuinely, they, they couldn't say something in a way that appears or comes across as a bad actor because their voice is so deep and so specific that you just believe and trust everything they say. I've, I've seen it a million times in shows, and it's it, and I'm so jealous of it. The word that you said there was the one I was going to go to, which is trust. And there's a reason, like, if I, have, if I hear a British actor or actress, for whatever reason, I trust them more. They're smarter. And the only American voice inflection that I trust is like a Sam Elliott Morgan Freeman, where mm-hmm. you are narrating with authority. If you walk it, like... The success that they could have in so many fields simply because of their voice. Yeah. It, I want Sam Elliott simply because I want to grow the mustache and become a full cowboy. Yeah, you are you lean towards the cowboy for sure. I guess the reason I The morning people. The, the cowboys. <laughs> they get up early with the Yeah, yeah they, that's true. Cowboys they, have to be early risers, right? Yeah. Yes. And you have Yeah, the, I've seen Yellowstone. Like you have the coffee in the in the metal yeah. tin. Oh where, yeah. Where it, it's, it, it's you're still, chewing the ground. It's it's fifty percent. <laughs> Like half grown up beans in there, um, but I I I would go. I'm pretty confident here. Sam Elliott's voice is lower than Morgan Freeman's voice, right? I, I believe so. Yes, and it's not just lower in like the the octave, you know, where some people like Shaq, you can't understand anything he's saying because <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Did that come that was the, a that sounded like a cruise ship. Are oh we my ha- gosh, there's Did a cruise. Did that come through the microphone? Cru- oh, I had to. I hope so. We're, I had to bring it up because there's a cruise ship outside the door. We're at the port right now. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> I've never, we've done um, probably 2,000 shows in this studio over the last five years between footballers in this that is the single loudest horn i have ever heard <laughs> i mean that was very impressive yeah. wow it would, I, I am just, actually uh... curious if it's not a boat it has to be a train and we're not at a station here <laughs> nor so they, a port <laughs> nor a port like they have brought you know on on the back of some semi truck a uh a, a locomotive right to our back door <laughs> that's, that's how it works um, well, you were you were making a point. I about? was. I don't remember it. It was probably about how it sexy about, Sam Elliott's deep voice. It was is. that his octave is lower and yeah, something. his his voice is low and growly, but it's not like this low octave like Shaq, where you can't Beef. Where, where, you, where you like can't understand what's being said. Um, yeah. Like Shaq's voice is like a bass line. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But he's all. I mean, he's gigantic. Though. So I mean, it just, I imagine his vocal cords are also large. Yeah, I mean, it, it, if you just imagine, like, okay, the the amount of air that can vibrate, yeah, it's like 
I'm guessing his neck is one yard wide. <laughs> um, so that's just a lot of space for air to go. I've never been in the presence of giants, but yeah, I, I mean, I remember when I remember the 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 only NBA player I've stood right next to, like sh shaking hands with, was Charles Barkley, and this was. Um, and he's a shorter fellow. He is for, for NBA standards. He's a shorter fellow. Knucklehead. It was the largest. <laughs> I mean, but he was still. So you're saying he was still big. He was bigger than anything I could imagine a human <laughs> being could be. Like I was blown away by how monstrous he was, and then to think that. There are people that dwarf him is so, outrageous. So which one are you going with officially, Mike? Shaq. Officially, Jason. Okay, you go, Shaq. Uh Sam Elliott, Morgan Freeman. I I'm going the Morgan Freeman. And like if we're going with the like the trustworthy voice, I feel like Morgan Freeman has more range. You like the when cadence? It comes to that. Yeah. You like the, the speed. Like the, he can't talk fast. Never no, talked no, fast before. No, you no, know, you just take it low and oh slow. Oh my. I would agree with you. He's got more range. Yes. Like you you you're kind of typecast when you're growly. Yeah. And and Morgan Freeman certainly has more range. I just Sam want Sam Elliott has done a good job with it though. He's been in a lot of stuff. As yeah, a cowboy. As you, <laughs> no, no, no. Have you seen him? I mean, he's been in a couple movies without the mustache. It will shake you yeah. to your core. Yeah, it's weird. It's, it's really super weird. weird. You know how people, when they don't have a beard, they have a right. soft jaw? Yes. He has a soft upper lip. I mean, it's like... <laughs> oh, brisket. I understand then, Mr. Sam Elliott. I yeah. have I have a negative top lip. It just it does not exist. When you don't have a mustache, it's a very strange yes. world. Yeah, I have one lip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I uh, was thinking about you know Sam's voice. Uh, my grandfather, uh, he had a very, very deep voice as well, but he was a smoker since a uh, uh, very, very young man, and it changed. I was like, I wonder, you know, does Sam Elliott talked about that, so I, just, I Google. Is, I'm sure he's been a smoker. But I, just, I Google, you know, is Sam Elliott a smoker? But the the interesting thing here is the top result is an Amazon.com Alexa, and it says, does uh, Sam Elliott smoke? Answer, Sam Elliott do smoking. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Alexa. <laughs> That's is that, that where is AI the, is bringing us? That is this? The top result. Yes, it is from the Google machine. Answer: Sam Elliott do smoking. <laughs> I see it. I googled it. You're not lying. Well, you remember the old ads from the '90s? Kids, don't do smoking. Yeah, yeah. don't do smoke. <laughs> don't do smoke, kid. I I was so jealous of these. This is your brain Elliot. on smoke. I was so jealous of these type of voices that I actually got a corn cob pipe <laughs> and tried. <laughs> And you not just like the, the I tried. Pipe I tried to just like destroy my vocal cords so I could sound better. I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> I don't like this at all. So I stopped. But I legitimately was oh, like, it's like, oh, I don't know. You you want a low voice or you want cancer? And I was like, give me that voice. Wow. Wow. Um. All right, Allie from the website. Would you rather go back to the very first mobile phone you ever had? Forever. Or go back to the very first TV you ever had. Oh, forever. Man. Oh, brother. Now, I, I, you guys are much older than me, obviously. Much, yes. Much, yeah. Much by, super by about a year. Yeah. However, I mean, diff we're from different kind of like decades. Or, no, we're not from different decades. <laughs> no, no. We're living in different. Uh, like yeah. you guys are in the, the yeah we're the, the night 40s, people, <laughs> and I'm in the 30s. That's what I was getting at. Okay. However, I. Unfortunately, I'm old enough to have had my first TV be a black and white television. Oh, so I would be 100 percent stuck in black and white. Wow, that's crazy. And I, I, think I don't I, remember my first. I, TV. I remember my first TV, but it wasn't it wasn't black and white. I didn't think people. But it was a hand me down. It was like the so the parents had we had a color television, but then the, you know how everyone has like the sick TV or something where like you know when your kid is sick, you bring it into the room so they can watch TV. Okay. It, I don't think everyone has that. <laughs> yeah, they, they, it was I, a little black and white television, and it, you know they're all box TVs, and it would be brought in if I was covered in sick. viruses. It, it was covered in viruses, <laughs> and I what I'm saying is is like I can live with just a phone that makes a phone call. I could totally live with that. Can you? Probably. I don't uh, think you. Yeah, could. Yeah, because I can see. Here's the loophole. There is I can text on my computer it's not about texting like the it's then what's the big deal for all the all the app functionality airplane tickets now you're back to having all to right print do, them out. you don't need to be so going to a concert to, yeah i'm just saying like i have 
Airplane I've, tickets is a problem. Concert tickets is a problem. I've been through this with with my kids of like, well, what phone do you give them? Because we don't. Because you, know, like, you wanted to give them a dumb phone. Right. We're yeah. trying to you know be protective of like, let's not get them into social media just yet. Let's give them some more time. So let's go with this phone. And you're like, man, that phone's dumb. <laughs> There's a, there are a lot a lot of things like we go. We're we're a Disney family. We go to Disneyland a lot. That's and, your tickets. And like that's your tickets to get in. That's your fast pass. So tickets. would you watch a black and white television that's thirteen inches? No, I'd watch TV on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pull it out and I'd watch this oh, little man. six inch yes. screen and I'd little be boy. living life. Dude, they're so high def. <laughs> that is the right answer yeah, to it's the gotta, question. It's gotta be a photo. I was thinking like, you know, you you've got two FA for a lot of different things where Not anymore. <laughs> no, you you can't access Anything without a smartphone. It has to be the phone okay. that you grab. All right, you're right. What was your first phone? I believe my first phone was like maybe one of those old cricket like phones. Was it oh oh so the the smaller Yeah, it didn't even flip. It was yeah, it wasn't a flip. Mine it was like a Nokia looking uh So my first phone I remember it very clearly. It was a Nokia kind of uh like like the bar phone. Yeah. But it did fl- it flipped. It had a little Ooh. cover. Oh, it was a flip cover? It was just a flip cover that covered the numbers, and you could flip that out oh, for so like a, no like reason. Oh, like a dust cover. Right, like a okay. dust That's cover. That's not even where the microphone was. No, no. Was you just... could have ripped that thing off and so been it was fine. just that was a phone in a case? It was, or was it actually attached to the phone? No, it was attached to the it phone. It had a hinge just, and everything. Yeah, it had a hinge, and you'd flip it open and pretend like you're on Star Trek. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, I see that. Yeah. I had I had the Nokia bar phone, or uh, yeah, and it had uh, no vibrate function. So, so like Only you either had you, you had your ringer on or you had it just silent. So when you don't know, few years later when you upgrade to the next phone, you're like, just look at this thing on silent. <laughs> I know you, that you're calling. Yeah, that's so crazy. What happened to if, Nokia? Uh, phones got smart. The iPhone. Came in like a giant and smashed everybody. All right. Um, I guess we all know the right answer there. We got to keep the phones. Yep. Scott from Patreon, would you rather always be overdressed or underdressed for any occasion? Mm. This is, I, I, you guys have already proven that my first impulse here today on this show could be wrong, and you've corrected me. My first impulse here is I'd rather be overdressed. That is the correct answer. Because I can be complimented, like somebody might notice it, but when they notice it, it is like, oh, look how dapper you are. The other direction is pure embarrassment. It is like, if you're at an event, and, and I'm going to go, my mental picture of being underdressed is somehow I'm wearing a bacon neck t-shirt, and it's wrinkly. You're like in and some basketball wrink- shorts. And it's wrinkly, and some basketball shorts, or a pair of sweats to the Super Bowl, whatever. And, uh, <laughs> and then, it's a fancy event. And then everybody around you is, you're the bum, man. Yeah. See, here's, here's the problem the cool with this. Or you're the cool guy. Here, well, yeah, you, you could pull that off. You just like, get some if tattoos. If you have tattoos... Yeah. Yeah, there you go. But, then I mean, it's, it's a choice. It's art. It's like Adam Sandler's just like, whatever, yeah, man. Yeah, I wear true. basketball shorts everywhere because I don't care. Yeah, yeah, but to be fair, he how is, rich you are. He's Adam okay. Sandler, and people know that. So you're not gonna, you know, if if some random and person you don't know shows up in basketball <laughs> shorts, you'd you'd view it very different than going because when when Adam Sandler shows up in basketball shorts, you don't say this. You don't say, "Oh my gosh, he's in basketball shorts." You say this. You say. Oh my gosh, that's Adam Sandler. <laughs> so that's the problem. Is Mike, if you wear if you're underdressed at an event, but you're covered in, you know, tattoos and, and other aesthetic choices, piercings and sure. things, uh, people are just like, that's his look. If I show up that way, it's like he made a mistake. <laughs> you <laughs> know, he should have put something on. He's a lazy bum. Now, here's the problem with this. It says you're always overdressed. So when we're here it at the studio, uncomfortable. when we're here at the studio, oh, I'm man. in I'm in a button up, right? Because we don't need that. And uh, yeah. for me, I would be in jeans and a button up. I would be overdressed for here. But when we go to the wedding, I'm not in a suit you're where tux. I should be in a suit. Yeah. I'm overdressed. I'm in a tuxedo. That's fair. And it's not my wedding. You're and at I, you're at like the gym and right. you're in a suit. Yeah, I mean this is a problem on the <laughs> elliptical. <laughs> just hitting a hard you, thirty minutes. Could so you sweaty? Imagine. I don't know if you ever get to wear shorts in that Going, choice. Oh no, no, never. Shorts, shorts, shorts can never be in overdress unless unless you're in the shower. <laughs> that's, <laughs> like, that's the only place where you're overdressed yes, in shorts. So you have shower shorts. Yeah. You do have to be overdressed in the shower. <laughs> um, 
could you imagine the visual to me of seeing a guy working out in a <laughs> yes, suit on the elliptical <laughs> is hysterical. I want to toss the tie yeah, over yeah. the shoulder. We saw the same thing. I, 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 I want to do this. I want to dress up in a suit because I get real sweaty and just go work out, get some good social content going. That is, uh, <laughs> excuse me, where's your coat check? <laughs> Underdressed means I will be in sweats all the time. Sweats or shorts. Oh, that's a good life. <laughs> Hey, do I feel like I've reached enough levels of Adam Sandler? Like how many degrees below? I think I'm taking the underdressed because the amount of Live times, your life. the amount of times that being overdressed will or being underdressed will be a problem. Right. Is is much, you know, it's 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 the see, fewer parent, and parent farther, teacher conferences. Parent teacher conferences, funerals, that weddings. one's gonna be that one's gonna be the big problem. <laughs> funerals a Funerals is problem. way worse than a wedding. You're right. A wedding I'm gonna feel like, oh man, I'm embarrassed, I'm underdressed. I'm gonna have at a funeral, funeral I'm gonna say no suits allowed. Well that's well that's another that's issue. Great. But like But then I'm underdressed thank you, by the for way. that. Yeah. So he's naked. <laughs> oh, so now, <laughs> now you're in bathing trunks. Yes. I'm in, I'm but in. it's a disrespectful thing at funerals, is what you're exactly. saying. Exactly. So, but uh, thankfully. This is how much I cared. Thankfully, I don't go to many funerals. Oh. And I'm, I would like to continue that trend. Um, you know, but uh, I would rather live 99% of my time comfortable than 100% yeah. of my time uncomfortable what? to just. <laughs> To just oh, be the, I'm dressed trying to up think at fancy about, events. What a thing to be able to brag about is that I don't go to many funerals. <laughs> <laughs> all my fr all my friends and family, we we stay living. Yeah, I've never yeah. been to a funeral. And, <laughs> uh, nice. yeah, yeah, I nice. don't go. Yeah, the shoes. Oh yeah, You're fancy always, shoes. What are you doing are, when you go to a basketball game? That's what I mean. Like, why? Why are do? What is this rule with dress shoes? Of like. They, they must need, be. They need to be mostly uncomfortable. I don't know. There's no reason that the inside of a nice tennis shoe can't be the inside of a nice dress right. shoe. There's none. Now mm -hmm. maybe like the super high end fancy ones I, that I've never experienced that are super cozy. Yeah, I don't nope. know because I mean, oh, you've you've yep. experienced them. Oh, I've had because I roll. I go down to the coals. He and put I pick them up on with the Steve corn Madden's. cob pipe <laughs> that one day. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how outrageous, but like I've had a three hundred dollar pair of like fancy shoes. Okay, that seems like that is a price that should be comfortable. That should be a comfortable yeah. fancy. Uh, shoe. I can assure you, it is not comfortable. <laughs> I can assure you, but on the bright side, <laughs> when you're wearing fancy shoes that are uncomfortable, they also require you to wear the thinnest socks imaginable so you can feel <laughs> yeah, they do. every ounce of that uncomfortable shoe. You're not allowed to have cushy socks. Yeah. They're like, no, this this really hard piece of leather needs to dig into your ankle. <laughs> that is so true. A dress, Why do we do this? Dress socks are like the same material as pantyhose. <laughs> it is, they're this, they're the other part of the pantyhose that just yeah, yeah they, they just cut the, the top it off. off. It yeah. was a tube, and yeah. then they just cut the top off. Right. They, if if you actually look at uh, um, women's capris, those right. are the that's how they make them. They're just the the bottoms were cut off and made into men's dress socks on the on those leg, oh. capri oh. leggings. Yeah, it is called comfydressclothes.com. Let's start it up. We got to fix these shoes. All right. Um, we should probably move on. All right. Spitwads, we're always throwing money at something. Your kids' school supplies, a new house project. The list goes on and on. Well, it's time to stop spending your hard earned money without getting anything in return. Enter Ibotta. The average Ibotta user earns $120 a year in real cash back. That could cover the cost of an entire shopping trip or get that flight you've been eyeing, uh, go to the game you've been wanting to go to, that fancy dinner. Look, a typical basket of groceries was over $50 more expensive at the end of 2022 than it was at the beginning of the year due to inflation. And you can earn two and a half times that in cash back from Ibotta, or even more depending on how much you use Ibotta. And Ibotta gives you real cash back, not points. Other apps give you points that don't amount to much. With Ibotta, you get real cash back that you can cash out straight to your bank account, to PayPal, or gift cards. You choose. Right now, Ibotta is offering our listeners $5 for just trying Ibotta by using the code BALLERS when you register, just go to the App Store or Google Play Store and download the free Ibotta app and use code BALLERS. That's Ibotta, I-B-O-T-T-A, in the Google Play or App Store and use the code BALLERS. What's the difference between me and 
need you, need you. Okay. Uh, Al, how are you doing today? Doing great. You have given me some choices here. I uh, Yeah, there's a list. Yeah, of what's the difference options. And, you know, we tend to put a... The debate ends with us. Right. This and is these finality. Things, these things get brought up, and then we close the book, and then they print the book or whatever. I, I don't know how that works. But let's begin here. What is the difference between an abscess, <laughs> a cyst, oh. and a boil? Mm. Okay. Well, let's get real juicy. Okay. I man. So I feel like a cyst and a boil. I know the difference. There. You do? Yeah. Okay. That I, one is easy. I feel to me like a boil looks like at any moment it could explode. Yeah. It, if it you be thin, there's popping, a, right? a thin membrane, and maybe you could see like is some, it jostling? Yeah. You could. It's just like a, like a <laughs> jello. You know, like if you poke it, it'll you'll see the liquid shifting around. Where a cyst is, it's a little bit. But you, a, a, a boil is something that once was a cyst and now you can't look at. Uh, a, a boil is disgusting. A boil yes. is something that... Now, when I say you Are can't... Are they always in groups? <clears throat> boils? No, no, no boils don't no, no, always you can have, have to be. Have a, you yeah. can have a single boil. You yeah. can have a single boil, absolutely, 100%. Um, it's come to the surface. It's always going to have some red to it. And you either can't look at it or, if it's really special, you can't look away from it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a boil always has to be connected to a disease. Like well, a, cyst, often, a cyst can happen outside of a disease. A boil, I feel like, needs to be in the symptom list of a disease. Well, it, it, uh, that's a common misnomer, Andy. Oh, because, okay. uh, And I completely understand where you're getting this because when you look at someone with a boil, you assume their disease, leprosy, right. um, some kind of deathly illness Boilitis. is upon them. A boilitis. Mm, yes. um, it... it, it my it's, boils are really inflamed. It's because of how bad it looks. In <laughs> They're not my normal boils. <laughs> right. Usually I got a cyst. This this is a boil because it's disgusting. Can they go back and forth? So I believe Or is the this only a one time transformation? If you dis if you disinflate or uninflate yeah. a yeah. I a boil does it become I, I believe That's quite that a show today. scientifically dis speaking. Disinflate. <laughs> um oh. highway to spell and yeah. Your word is disinflate. Mm -hmm. Or what is the origin of that word? It's that it's not actually a word. <laughs> so spell it how you want. I feel like if you drain a boil, it just grows into a boil again later. But if you drain an abscess, Under enough pressure. it's gone. Oh. Because no, like, so I don't know what an abscess is. <laughs> well that that's part of <laughs> Jason, the question. People are here for these things. No, but that's why there's three of us, man. We come together with our knowledge. I know that boils and the best there's way There's fluid in all of these. I don't know if there's is there fluid in a cyst? An abscess. Yes. Is, oh yeah, a cyst. Oh, is, yeah. it's fluid. It's middle name. Fluid? Oh, I didn't. I yeah. didn't realize that. I know you talk about getting rid of a boil. The boil has, has come so pop. far to the surface. Its only way out is out. It, it, it's going to explode. Like a, it, uh, to me, a boil is like a blister. It's a skin bomb. Yeah. Think <laughs> <Yes>. of uh, <laughs> think of a teenage zit that has gone to be the size of a quarter. It has to, that's, oh, it's a, it is a scale, that's, that's a a scale thing, right? Because a, a pimple is like a baby boil. It's like a baby boil. Yeah. Absolutely. No, it's, I thought that was a cyst because it's more covered up. A boil, it, to me, it's like How surface bubbly. level is no, it? No, but you, t you know, like a white head on a, on yeah. a zit where it's like... Ooh, yeah, that's, that's gonna, reached the exterior... That's a baby boil. It's a baby boil. No, I, I think that's a cyst. A cyst can be underneath the skin quite a bit. Again, again, you just go back to the look at it test. If it's a crazy whitehead, you got to either avoid looking at it or you can't okay. you can't avoid. And so now you know it's in the Boyle family. Are you a looking at a cyst? No, you don't look at a cyst. You go, oh, I wonder what that is. I don't care. I you forget. drain a cyst, right? All are Al? All are poppable? <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't think, think an abscess is not poppable. Yeah, no? you can't. Uh, that's carvable. Yeah, you have to carve an abscess out. But it's got liquid in it. There's some liquid, yeah. Okay. So yeah. they all have. Yeah, like I'm with Jason. They're I don't all, know what an abscess. Is. They're all. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're all trying to get to the surface. Well, yeah, because the, the liquid doesn't want to be Maybe in your it's body. Just three levels. Abscess is the deepest level. Mm -hmm. Cyst is the middle level, and boil is the top level. Perfect. It's the disgusting top we level. That's right. Okay. Uh, am I allowed to move on yes. at this yeah, point? Yeah, we answered it. Okay. Disinflate the next <laughs> question. <laughs> all right. What's the difference between this one? Might be easy, but what's the difference between being kidnapped? abducted and taken hostage mm, okay okay do you well, have to be a kid to be kidnapped no although that's a weird or a goat i feel like 
adults borrowed that. Like kids had that as their term. Right, they, right. they had that on lockdown. Yeah, yeah. and then and then adults and we took are like, it away from uh, I I was also kidnapped. No, you weren't. You were adult napped. Kidnapped is when you are taken from your your comfortable places. Okay. Your, okay. Your, your home. Okay. Yeah. 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 Your grocery yeah. store. You when you're abducted, you're usually like out of the out of yes. your city. Or there's aliens involved. For sure, that's the that's the the extreme alien, of the geography. Geography a- comes into being abducted. Can aliens alien, don't kidnap people. Can it, yeah, that's the question. No, they, they can't. No, they're too far away. Yeah, they it, only abduct. Abduction is about geography. So abduction is has to have distance involved. Has to have a great deal of distance. It, it, Just it, vertical it, distance or horizontal. Either distance. one. Either one. As the as the mm. crow flies. <laughs> so I feel like you, you have you can, that don't you have to be abducted from your home? No, no. You can. If I were traveling to uh, Mexico, I can be abducted in Mexico. Absolutely, because and, but there's you great be taken distance. Hostage there, and you can. Well, be yeah, because hostage that's... is just a matter of are they asking for something yep. in return for you? Yep. That's that's everyone knows or that. shielding are they, are they cowards and hiding behind you using you as a shield yeah yeah That's... meat shields are hostages <laughs> <laughs> now can an alien take someone hostage no i don't think so i don't think because no, if... we don't use the same currency <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> that, that is the big that Give is the me biggest your issue. largest supply of florgus <laughs> uh i don't know have... <laughs> what we're we're all out man <laughs> This guy's not hostage. He's been abducted. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, well done, Mike. Uh, but are we trying to return kidnapped just to kids? I would like to. I would. I, I mean, I. Uh, oh, would that mean you're man napped? Like, what? What is it if you're if you're going with? No, I'd adult. Yeah, uh, adult, adult napped. napped. Yeah. 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 Maybe we got to keep kidnapped then. And then if you're like really old, you're elder napped. Right. But <sighs> nobody's napping the elders. No. They're already napping. Yeah. <laughs> all, all right. Do we have I time for we... another one of these? Let's do one more. Um, all right. What is the difference between? Let's go with a stomach, a belly, <laughs> and a gut. Oh yeah, brother. A stomach, a belly, and a gut. Okay. Well, a stomach is the smallest of the three. For it's sure. internal. Yeah, it's the scientific. It's the organ. Yeah. It's just it's the regular thing. Yeah. I don't think people normally say like, "Man, he's got a huge stomach." No, because that's you an don't... internal. Like, I'm just thinking because right. the other ones, you're like, oh, he's got a huge belly, or you got a huge gut. Those can describe the physical appearance. If you have a huge stomach relative to other stomachs, no one's noticing. Yeah, right. in most stomachs, I, even even a, a larger fella would their stomach is not going to be like that much bigger. What's right? funny is stomach. I think is tied into the word tummy. And if you said someone has a huge tummy, I would know what you're talking about with their size. Well, and it, and, it, and, it, and and stomach it is for all people. Yes. A gut is really for guys. Girls, you know what I mean? Like uh, a, okay. a gut. Like a beer gut. Well, yeah. I mean, a beer belly can can go everywhere, but a beer gut, a girl's not going to have a beer gut. You know what I mean? Like and it only gut, goes out the front. Only out the front. Gut is really dangerous. It's dangerous. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, very, very dangerous. Do tell. Well, because... <laughs> because Tell me more. I mean, that's that's just science. Uh, <laughs> if you've got a big gut, you're, you're... Now, the gut can spill, right? There's spillage. Like, that's how you get the tire. You can... Like, the spare tire? The sp- you're oh. talking, he's talking about this because we were saying... I'm that- just saying if the gut's out the front, eventually yeah. there is some overage, like some... Yes. Like, over the, yeah, over yeah. the rim. Yeah, you the, know what I mean? It spills out. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying now. Yeah, though. No. Guts can have a lot of spillage. You're talking about the belt line. I'm talking about yeah. It spills yeah, over the, bel- the, belt, the belt line. line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and what was the other? Oh, belly. But, but belly and gut. I mean, is belly include the belt line? Belly goes higher. Belly goes up to like just under, yep. just yep. under the pectoralis. Beer belly, beer majoris. gut. What's the difference? Same. Be- say beer belly and what? Beer gut. It's a one's a dude. <laughs> the beer guts on a dude. <laughs> Really? Uh, yeah, and the beer belly can be. You, you will on not everybody. appropriate a gut to a woman. I think it's disrespectful. <laughs> I think you would go beer belly. Yeah, absolutely. Because well, everyone can get a beer belly. A gut implies visceral fat, and visceral fat—that's what I'm saying. That's the danger zone, you know. And I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to put women in danger here. Is, okay. At what point does it become a gut? How far forward or how far over? Can the- you see your shoes? <laughs> Standing straight up, 
Okay. Looking straight down. Can you see your shoes? Okay. If you Just can, out of curiosity. As a gut. Yeah. You know, Andy's got a really important question here. <laughs> can you see your shoes? Uh, I can, but that's because I wear size 13 shoes. <laughs> So part of whether you have a gut is how big are your feet, and a lot of people don't realize oh, that. Oh, so you have a little more room. I've got more room to how go. How shoelace can you see? Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> let's not talk about shoelaces. I can see the toes. Um, you know, that's, that's- Is there a chance at some point you will make a decision to buy larger Large, shoes? Absolutely. Absolutely. I've got room to Did grow. Did you lose weight? <laughs> no. I, these are size 15s. He's actually only got size 9 feet. He's, right. in, he's in 13s right now. Uh, the idea that you're wearing some clown shoes and people are convinced. Oh, this, ain't, this isn't a gut. They're convinced you've lost weight. He starts wearing these size 20 clown shoes and people man, are like, you're looking you're good. You're looking good, man. Really spell. Wow, this guy. Compared to those shoes. It's all the ratio. Oh, man. I didn't know this. Yeah. Well, that's why people listen is oh, to learn things like that. I am dying. Oh, man. All right. We are gonna, we're going to move on. The Spitballers Draft. All right. We are drafting the best ways to spend a rainy day. And uh, I'm going to throw in a little bit of rainy day context here, at least for the three of us, because... I know there are lots of places in the world where it rains regularly. And yeah, um, I live my life. I go to work. Yeah. And, and people, Not here. people ha that have rain don't understand. There are people that have fled rain to come to Arizona because we don't get a lot of rain. And because we don't get a lot of rain, we videotape it. Like, that's what happens. Like, people are excited when it rains yeah. here. When I remember growing up in school, and this is what this this question brings it up a little bit to me is, if you had a rainy day in school, which people have all over the world, our schools function totally differently. Yeah, it's they give them rainy day schedules. Mm -hmm. Your recess goes indoors. It's a special day as a kid because you're watching videos and you're doing stuff. So rain is a special thing out here in Arizona where I think we always appreciate it. Am I right? We always we always appreciate the first hour of rain. Yes, but okay. we are okay. still people that complain about everything. So if it's raining too long, I get sick of it rather quickly. But yes, when it comes, it's like, oh, good. We got yes. some rain. And now I, go away. I'm a little disappointed that I don't have a top two pick here because I think there are some real hmm. winners, things I want to be doing on my rainy day that I'm not going to get to do because you guys are going to take them. Mike, you have the first pick. It is a rainy day, so for the most part, I'm trying to avoid going outside because I don't want to get too damp. Uh, and while I'm in, <laughs> while I'm uh, inside, and I got some time to kill, fellas. Finally, I have time. I'm gonna fire up the video games. Uh, it yeah. was the number one pick. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's oh, the why I'm sad. You can't stop me because I can't go out. Yeah. You want to go do the yard, honey? Oh, nope. nope. Can't do the can't, yard. Can't possibly do that. Want to take the kids to the park? Mm. Mm. No. No. Yeah. I'm going to take them to school and say, pick up the sticks. Yeah. I, okay. All right. This is so with Andy. Did we wanting, just ruin your whole list? No, no, no. But I'm, I'm, I'm viewing, I'm viewing this in within the context of this game that we're playing amongst each other where Andy's worried about these top two picks and, and his number one pick was video games. And I know what my number one pick is, but it's kind of it's kind of different. And so I'm going to pivot and hope that this one comes back to me. Interesting. I'm going to go with my number one pick to be bin watching, binge watching something. Bin watch binge watching? <laughs> bin, I've been watching it. <laughs> You're just looking at stuff that you put into a bin? Yeah. No, but, <laughs> you know, video games and binge watching TV shows. It's raining. You got to stay inside. Let's find a great show and... So I ruined watch. my pick because I said that? Was that what you wanted? I wanted television. Yeah, <laughs> you did. You ruined it because that was not going to be my pick. Thank you for opening your dumb, dumb mouth. Uh, I am unhappy <laughs> with you. I will. I do get two Kill! picks. You do. And so one of them, thankfully, I can say movies. And if it's too close to TV for you, then no, no, no. I'm was, going I'm, to the movies. It's watching movies on a rainy day. I can go to the movies. I can enjoy a movie. Sure. Um, I'll allow it. Yeah, you're going to the movies. I'm going to the movies. 
I'm going to the movies. Yeah, you're safe inside. Um, Which I just did. It had been too long since I've gone to the movies because that's like my oh, movies favorite. Are, are great. My absolute like lifelong favorite pastime has been going to the movies and then COVID hit. What'd and, you go see? Uh, it's all Shazam. Uh, how the, was that? The new one. I really enjoyed it. I, I had a fun time. I like that it's goofy and stupid. Um, but uh, We'll take this off there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, no it's just, it was just so nice to go to the movie theater again. I'm, I'm going to okay. do that more. Okay. Did you get the sweet... Uh, Set a goal and then accomplish it. Was it a, a, an AMC? Hashtag not a sponsor. So did you get that really cool Nicole Kidman? Intro yes. video. Yes. That's so ridiculous. I did. And let me tell you something. She is we sitting. go to the movies. She is sitting in chairs that are not in the theater I was in because those chairs looked soups comfy. Is that that super melodramatic? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. My second pick will be. It, it's an obvious one for me in part because it's the right pick and in part because I hope it hurts Jason. Oh, no. And it is napping. Oh, oh, that's yeah. a good one. Oh, yeah. A Dude, rainy day that's, that's not on my list. It's, it's a, already, good, a good rain nap. It's cloudy. Oh, yeah. It's overcast. Maybe you got some drops outside, in, and then you just go off into a I, nap. I don't even have to wear a sleep mask in the day. No. It's, it's, it's dark it's, enough. It's I nice just and dark. sleep right there. Wait, do you wear a sleep mask while you nap? Only if it's, yeah, if it's bright in the day. My, my bedroom has a lot guy. of light in it. Is it made of satin? <laughs> no, no. Okay cloth okay. <laughs> try satin oh, all right good. um jason you are back it, right. i assume the pick that you were going with is is there it is still there and this is something where it, it, i said it was different because most of these are i want to get away from the rain i want to mm -hmm. not get damp as mike yes. would say but i actually love it, it's probably my favorite rainy day activity like i i binge watch shows all the time i don't need rain for that i nap all the time i don't need rain for that but this one i can only do in the rain which is sitting on the porch with a drink and a rocking chair in the rain that, that is is very frustrating oh yes i stole both you did things. yes you did uh funny enough <laughs> uh we're in arizona it doesn't rain very much it did just rain last week and I went under the patio, I had my coffee, and I was going to tweet that ab about, you know, just how like a, a coffee under the patio in the rain is elite. And then I remembered. <laughs> about the draft? I remember we were going to be doing the yes! draft. So I literally so did, you did I did not tweet because of this show. And I got it. And, and you, you got it anyway. You have to have a drink. And the best part is it could be. Anything all day. Sure. Your morning coffee, your your afternoon tea, you your late night. There has to be sipping. Uh, yes. It's sipping it's in the rain. Sipping yes. in the rain. Sipping <laughs> in, in the rain. rain. All, all right. right. That's a good one. That is upsetting. <sighs> all right. And he's out. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, shoot. So <laughs> with, with my next pick here, and this is something for Arizona, you don't frequently get to do it, even though – uh, I mean, we, like with new homes and everything, we're obsessed with putting them in in Arizona, and that's the fireplace. Uh, but when it's raining outside, it tends to be a little bit cooler and just the, the overall snuggliness that the the the, the rain atmosphere. brings in. Yeah, it permits the fireplace it, huh? is perfect. Just sit and I'm I'm just gonna say, you know, just turn the fireplace I on, hang gonna, out by the fireplace. I think it's gonna resonate with the listeners. I I, I there's like a lot, that. lot of fireplaces out there. I like that visual. I am curious. When is the last time you have turned on your fireplace? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That's what uh, I thought. But I, but I only have, right now, I don't have a, oh no, I have my electric fire, my fake fireplace. So that thing goes on a lot, but I don't turn the heat on. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it, it's, uh, <laughs> we're in Arizona. I mean. Yeah. yeah. All right. I've so. had a fireplace in, uh, I think my last four houses over 15 years. And I don't know if I've ever lit a like I I remember lighting fires at my home I grew up in as a child. I don't think I've turned one of them on mm. ever. All right, and then I will follow it up with uh, just a really good rainy day lunch. You got to get the grilled cheese and the tomato soup. Oh, out so you, you're for looking a, for a yeah. They, I mean, look, I'm gonna eat lunch. But okay. and we, Jason was he's right on the that's a rainy day meal. He's he's right on where it's like there's these things I do them all the time. I play video games when it's not raining, but 
something about the rain makes it feel more special, makes the uh, watching the TV, makes the fireplace. These are things you do, and you have a grilled cheese and a tomato soup. But when it's when it's snuggly out mm -hmm. and you get the grilled cheese crisp and the warm soup, it is just it's extra special. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I get that. And I'm going to go with something that a lot of times when you are – it's a rainy day, you're looking for activities to do that are indoors. Now, that could be in your home or that can be out and about. And sometimes you just want to get out, but you've got to stay inside. But it's raining and it's special. To me, that means I want water involved. I am going to the aquarium. I You're want. You're going to the aquarium. I am going to the indoor aquarium, like the big aquatic. We've got, you know. Interesting. A, I I want to feel like I'm a part of the rain. You could just go stand but in stay it. Stay dry. No, see, I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. Get too this, damp this here, one, Mike. This, this one's this blowing one, my mind. This one, left field can't even be seen from where this one is. Yeah, no, this is You're a like, real good you one. You could oh. have not narrowed it to an aquarium. You could have said, like, gone to museums and, well, like, all these different things. But we know he doesn't go to but the you're museum. Saying I that have you museum need to, on my list. I might pick it you next. need it to be, you need water to be I at want, the place that you. I want. <laughs> are you watching television shows that have more water in them? I can honestly yeah, say. Yeah, like, are you watching Waterworld? Oh, great movie. In, um, that'll be part of my movie marathon, you, you absolutely. Go point break in there? Um, <laughs> I can honestly say that when it is raining and I'm looking to go do an activity, it's not even a joke. There's one other you thing on my list. The aquarium? There's one it's other thing one on my list. one of the list weirder that, things you've ever said. <laughs> that, that, like, I want a, a, a somewhat wet environment because it's raining. <laughs> I mean, this we're is, all here, this right? Is, yeah, this, in this place, this, is just, it's, it's weird to everybody, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I love you, Jay, but that's weird. You know? <laughs> I know. I know my next pick now. Oh, I know. I, it. I, know I won't have Taking it. Taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna close out the draft because I got two picks. My draft, and um, I thought I had it locked and loaded. <laughs> now I'm worried about Jason. Now you want some water? I hear you. Um. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, – there's several good picks. I'm going to go with – Water park. Board games. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to go all with right, board all right, games. All right, all right, I was between that and aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have aquarium on the list. Hmm. Board That's... games are like – you know, it's the same thing. You're, you're, you're hearing, listening to the rain. What board games are water-themed, though? <laughs> no, not enough, which is why I didn't go with that, <laughs> Mike. Am I back on the clock? You're not. No. Okay. And then for my last one, this is very difficult because I have two that I really want to pick, but I'm going to go with Bubble Bath. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. it's it's very high on my list. Because that is like, it, it is a little bit of the, like, it's cold yeah. outside. And it's, you got the water. Warm. It's warm inside, yes. and you can just, um, it's like a nap for your Body in the water. <laughs> I love the pick, Andy. I mean, you've got water involved yes. in yes. your rainy day activity. I see one that of the you, fundamentals. One of the fundamentals about a rainy day in Arizona is that you want to be with water. You're next, so I know washing dishes is coming up, but go mm -hmm. ahead. No, I'm going to an indoor water park, <laughs> baby. It's raining outside, and I want to be wet, but I want to be inside. So I'm so good. I'm going to an indoor water park. I mean, it's so obvious. How is this, this not is, the first This pick? is just Jason not wanting to go get in rain itself, no, but gross. wanting water all over. Over him yeah. or around him? What yeah. is this clean rainwater? Have rain you considered water? going out into the rain? Gross! My <laughs> shirt will stick to myself. Give me a water park with some fun slides. Do you, you water park with a shirt on? No. Okay. You should really consider sometime. Like, and this is day rain. We're not talking thunderstorms. Stay inside on the thunderstorm, but day rain, Jason. Mm -hmm. Put on them trunks. Yeah. Go on a little walk ski go, around the block. It is not. Go okay. kiss the rain. So here's what's kiss so funny. Kiss the rain. <laughs> We, my, my wife and I were talking about this with all sorts of social norms the other day and, and, and things that don't make sense and they are stupid and they're just social constructs. They still absolutely exist. If I go walk down my street and I don't have a shirt on, I'm a weirdo. I am straight up a weirdo. If the I go vast, to a, vast majority. Unless yes. you have very loud swimming trunks. 
or that may excuse you going to a neighbor's house to e- swim. Even oh. still, I'm going to feel super uncomfortable walking down my street in swim trunks and flip flops and I no can, shirt. I can change that whole situation though. In just a second, but yeah. if I go yeah. to a water park, I take that shirt off. I feel right. I feel comfortable. I feel fine, and everybody else there's doing it. Yes, I mean that. That yeah, but that makes sense. I agree. <laughs> I'm not saying it. I'm saying I completely agree that these are these are social constructs that there's no different. I'm around people without a shirt in one place. I'm around yeah, people. It's yeah. all about the but context. It, but it is truly different, and so I want. If I'm naked in my shower, <laughs> right? It's but if I go outside, it's like a problem. Okay. Uh, so it, uh, next so time, how can you fix this? Uh, put on headphones. People immediately assume that you are working out. Oh, no, nah, not with a gut like mine. <laughs> they're going to be like, that dude th- doesn't work out. No, they'll be like, look, dude, good for that guy. Oh, they're going to think I'm yeah. starting my journey. It would help yeah. if you shuffled <laughs> your feet while they drove by. He's still in the before oh. picture phase. <laughs> yeah. just, this no. man with size 20 clown shoes just, is going down the street. <laughs> just make sure your hands are all just on your hips. Yeah. Like you're just taking a quick breather. Oh man. I you know it is sad that when you when you when you see that, you see the before pick yeah. workout. Yeah, yeah. It's like good for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like good. You good. should be doing that. Yeah. yeah. Mm, I'm that guy. All right, Mike. Um did what the uh, water the aquarium wasn't stolen from you, I hope. Would you like? Uh it's reading. Yes. It's it, yep. it's reading. Yeah. There There's it, nothing better. Now there's Reading, not something... Uh, Preferably by a window. Yes. During the oh, rain. yes. During the rain. Yes. I must hear the pitter-patter uh, against the, the... Gently against the, the glass pane, pane mm-hmm. window. It was the best of... <laughs> and, like, I, I should definitely read more. But something about... Again, this is You snu- would this, if it rained more. The snuggling... Like, if I lived in Seattle, I would be just... I would be so, so well-read. I would know everything. Be like, hey, there's a new number one New York Times bestseller. I'm like, yeah. You got the blan- you, you got it. the blanket pulled up a little bit. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, just just enough, just enough to cover my toesies. Books was on the list, Mike. Couple ones that were not mentioned as we close this out. I did have a last minute thought of uh, when I was a kid and it was a rainy day. We built forts in the house. Oh, for sure, the house forts with the kids sitting by the window, singing in the rain. Mm. Haven't when's done that really. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, when's the last time I got a mall day? Or going to the science museum, and mm-hmm. I do mean the science museum because regular museums are boring. It's funny because all I mean, yours are very much. You leave the house to go somewhere else in the rain. Yeah, I. Uh, it's one of those like I need to get away, but I want to be inside, but I want to be wet. Only yeah. one of yours, the TV one, is inside your own house. Everything else is outside of your house. No, I've I've rented a hotel room <laughs> in the rain. Yeah, to, in the rain to watch. And TV. I have uh, cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. That'll work for any day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it raining? <laughs> ah, come here, honey. Hold, Let's... hold on. Did you hear? I heard it. I, I heard, heard it. the thunder. Get the shaker. The, ra- the rain's on the he's way. Got, he's got the hose spraying over the house. <laughs> ah, another cozy day with a cocktail. <laughs> All right. Um, let's answer this question. What did we learn today? I learned that shoes can make me skinnier. <laughs> the bigger the shoe, the smaller the belly. I learned that aliens can't take you hostage because we don't convert their currency properly yes and i learned i've been using the word deflate oh all just wrong my entire life disinflate <laughs> gotta disinflate that that'll do it for today's spitballers podcast please tell your friends about the show thank you for supporting it leaving us those uh, wonderful reviews and we'll be back with another episode very soon goodbye thanks for listening to the spitballers podcast To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.